Welcome. Our liver is the number one largest organ of our body. What does that mean? It means something very special. That means it's got to be really important. Remember that the liver does so many different metabolic functions for our body to keep it healthy. It removes toxins from the body's blood supply. It maintains healthy blood sugar levels. It regulates blood clotting and performs hundreds of other vital functions. And it is located beneath the rib cage in the right upper abdomen. And the liver is the workhorse of our digestive system. It performs over 500 different functions. And this is what keeps you healthy. Whatever you put in your mouth, if it's a food, a drug, or anything else, it makes its way to the stomach, then into the small intestine, and then gets assimilated into the bloodstream. It makes its way to the liver. And at that point, the liver goes to work. Although there are many foods that we eat that's damaging the liver. Not only you, but millions of millions of people throughout the world. And I'm going to go over a few important ones and then tell you which is the worst. I'm sure that many of us love French fries, but guess what? They're extremely high in saturated fats and foods that are high in saturated fats lead to increased liver fat and insulin resistance. And eating too many saturated fats will make it harder for your liver to do its job. Over time, it leads to inflammation which in turn can cause scarring of the liver, known as cirrhosis. Beware of excessive vegetable oils. They're rich in omega-6 polyunsaturated acids. Vegetable oils can be extremely inflammatory to the liver. This can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver. And the main reason why these oils are bad for our health is that they have many double bonds under cooking temperatures that are prone to get oxidized and generate lipid peroxides. Be aware of your packaged foods your chips, salty biscuits, processed cheese, along with your canned and frozen foods. You must look at those labels. It's the excess sodium can affect the liver function. Excess sodium intake will cause imbalances in the fluid levels in the body, putting more stress on the liver, which can lead to other major problems. And overeating will cause too much fat. The extra fat will build up in the liver cells, which can also lead to a fatty liver. The liver may start to swell and over time, it can harden and fill in with scar tissue. With all the millions of people who are suffering in pain, if you're taking Tylenol or acetaminophen, be sure to take the right amounts. Excessive amounts of acetaminophen may help your headache or take away pain, but it can definitely do damage to your liver. So check your doses as well as speak to your doctor. And if you're eating a lot of packaged foods and baked goods, there are trans fats and those are partially hydrogenated ingredients. Those trans fats will not only raise your cholesterol and triglycerides, but it can also lead to placking within the arteries as well as more complicated diseases. Trans fats will definitely damage your liver. And if you're drinking too much alcohol, you are going to get a fatty liver because the liver is responsible for filtering out those toxins. So you must cut back. And if you're eating too much red meat, yes, it's rich in protein, but it is also taxing on the liver as it cannot break down those proteins easily and will adversely affect your liver. And if you're eating lots of fast foods, yes, I understand you may have one, two, or even three jobs, but you need to be aware that those processed foods, along with saturated fat, trans fat, and high sodium, is extremely toxic to the liver. And the number one worst food that we can put in our body is sugar. That's right. We know what sugar can do to our health, how sugar can lead to insulin resistant, diabetes, as well as heart disease, a weakened immune system. Sugar is inflammatory. Sugar will affect the entire body, but our liver hates sugar. In our body, we use some of that glucose immediately for energy. But if that energy is not burned off, it will be stored as glycogen. But too much sugar gets converted to fat. And the liver is one of the places in our bodies that stores this excess fat. Over time, the liver cells are gradually replaced by fat cells leading to non-alcoholic related fatty liver disease. And if we keep eating sugar on a regular basis, the chemicals build up in our bodies affecting our liver even more. And the liver will become more damaged and inflamed. It won't work as efficiently as a healthy liver and therefore it can't process the toxins and eliminate those toxins from our body. It also burns less excess fat and cholesterol, leading to even more fatty deposits in the liver and eventually more weight gain. So here's the bottom line. You must start eating healthy, exercise, 
hydrate, get your sleep, stay away from those processed and refined foods, those excessive saturated fats, and you will be much more healthier. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below because there will be many. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.